Ashley. Stuff I should scrape for. Oh, so one atom, seven Garrett. Six Francis. Uh, nine Isaac. A humble wish, don't you think? You see, we are all connected through the holy body. And now your flesh and bones, your very thoughts, are already one with us. Bullshit. Mm. I don't like that answer. When you need only accept the sacred gift, like she did. Suggler! <laughs> ah, yes, the time has come for this lamb to join our covenant. Oh, blessings unto him and the sweet mercy they bring. Exalt! Oh, Thank you. And let it be so! <laughs> Asylum Scarecrow World.
Like I told you, I'm gonna get you home safe. Rose. Hoping it's painless. If not, to wake up and hit the button for me. Christian hook. You did this. Yeah. You're knocked out, so you didn't feel a thing. Can you stand? Is that a map? Yeah, I found it. I think it says we can get out if we go this Not this way. Hey, we're a team, right? Keep this up. I'll be out of a job. We're a team in that we both want the same thing, getting you out of here alive. Removing the parasites, this was the week. Yeah, we're alive. Thanks to him. Oops. There are two ways to eradicate Las Plagas, antigen injection and surgery. If the parasite has not hatched yet, it can be treated by administering antigen directly into the body. Once it has hatched, however, there's not much that can be done besides slow its growth. With surgery, the plaga can be targeted and killed using a certain wavelength of radiation. But this is not without its risks. If the parasite has attached itself to the host's nervous system, the host will experience excruciating pain. And there's no effective anesthesia for this kind of procedure. Surgical removal carries considerable risks even before the parasite is fully developed. Once fully grown, however, it is too late. Removing the parasite would kill the host. But considering what will happen to them, death may be a mercy. Europe Laboratory 6 Dream Team. Luis is in the middle. <laughs> Sadler's Animus. Dabby fooled them to thinking less plagas are merely tools for creating powerful bioweapons. Their true value lies their ability to, to control. No matter how hostile the subject, a single injection can turn anyone into a faithful servant. Who needs spies when you can turn yesterday's enemy into today's ally? Controlling just <clears throat> one insider can bring an entire organization, an entire country, to its knees. Mass production of the superior species has made this possible. We've empowered Sadler. It's clear what he intends to do next. Can you imagine if Sadler had that much control? Six billion loyal servants at his sole command. There would be no opposition, no war. Maybe for the first time in history, the world would know peace. On false pretenses. But I know how Sadler and the others 
have oppressed the people of this island for generations. I know how he treats them. That's no way to live. And because of that, I won't let it happen. The amber, this sample, which I've just come to call the amber, is just sitting in the storeroom collecting dust. We used the sample specimens for experimentation in the past, so it makes sense that this one was overlooked. In fact, the only reason I brought it back to my lab was because of its peculiar shape. After basic analysis, I've changed my mind. The amber possesses a very unique quality. Although small and in a suspended state, it contains the same organ found in the dominant species, which we've only seen in Zadler himself. When fully developed, the amber may rival or perhaps even surpass Sadler's power. Unfortunately, Amber was confiscated by Sadler before I could make any further progress in my research. He may be on to me. I need to get my hands on that sample again and escape in order to continue my research elsewhere. It's the only way to counter Sadler. Of course, I don't think I can trust this outside group either, but I've already come this far. Hopefully I can sweet talk my way out of this one too. I'll have to, for the world's sake. Someone had a field day looting the Umbrella Labs. Subject regarding our arrangement from Luis. I've compiled the research data you wanted. Meet me in the designated time and place. To be clear, you're going to get me the hell out of here if I bring you the goods, right? Subjects regarding our arrangement from A.W. Albert Wesker. I hope you haven't forgotten about the amber. Without it, the data is worthless. It would be a shame to let your seat go to waste. So do not make me return empty-handed. You still remember the code phrase, I assume. Relax, I haven't forgotten. Don't worry about the amber, I'll figure something out. Think you can pick me up a pack of smokes on the way? Any brand is fine. And that's how the Plagas makes its way to Africa. Thanks, Wesker. Looks like a hard drive maybe got pulled. Sorry. Like I said, we're a team. You're getting good at that. Right? <laughs> Kicking ladders. No one else can do it quite like Ashley. Gotcha. You sure you're okay? Ah, <sighs> no. Never been better. Good. <laughs> Too fast. Spindle, huh? who helped us you think she's all right Rita. oh i'm sure she's fine she's not the type to roll over that easy sounds like you know her well if they keep remaking these through five you gotta wonder what they're gonna do with six because six was
read this. Oh, I guess I have to. Uh, Lumina's final chapter. Praise be to the holy insects. We have been promised paradise on earth, man, woman, or child. His love does not discriminate, beast, fish, or bird. All creatures shall be equally blessed. Praise be to the holy insects. We are the humble servants of God. His wisdom will overcome any mountain. His omnipot omnipotence will cross any ocean. The light of heaven dwells in all things. Let our bodies be the seedbed. Praise be to the holy insects. We are the flock and the shepherd guides us. Our prayers will be sung all over the world. They will be heard by all. At last we shall exceed the stars in the sky. In the sky. Osmond, 15. Uh, still falling. Deep beneath the castle grounds, I have found my faith. Oh, behold, the divine vestiges left upon this world. It all begins here. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. <laughs> no, wait. Adam Sadler. I promise that wasn't on purpose. Ooh, the pendant. thumbnail's gonna be for this video. You dummy, go out the front door. At least one of these maps I can get all the treasures clear. I got a snake. That's why they call me Snake Eater. Stench of battle on you, mate. Any time. 